Hi, I'm Eric Lanlard and welcome to my kitchen. Growing up in France, my favorite sweet were marshmallows, or should I call them chamallows. And I'm so glad they are back in trend with some extraordinary flavors. And the one I'm going to show you how to make today are green tea and vanilla bean paste. So the first step is to prepare our tin. I'm going to do a generous dusting of a mixture of golden icing sugar and corn flour. So you really need to put a good dusting all over and make sure you put it on the side as well. In my saucepan here, I'm going to put the water, the honey, and the golden caster sugar. Just mixing them together. What I'm going to do with that, I'm going to take it to the stove and make a sugar syrup. I'm going to use a sugar thermometers and I'm going to take it to a temperature of 120. When my sugar syrup is almost reached 120 degrees, so it's time to whisk our egg white. So full speed. Right, you can see the egg white are perfectly whisked. So time to add our hot sugar syrup to it. So I'm just gonna drain our pre-soaked gelatin and I'm gonna add that to the mixture. Right, so we're just gonna leave that um, to cool down slightly, but we don't want it to be too cool, slightly lukewarm because it will set. Right, so this is great now. So ready to add the flavors. So I'm just gonna divide that between two bowls. And now we're gonna be ready for the flavoring. So first of all, in this one, I'm adding the green tea, the matcha tea. The Japanese love using green tea in their baking. They make sponges with it, they make cupcakes with it. And of course, it's full of antioxidant. So I'm just gonna fold that lovely green powder. Okay, so that's all mixed well together. So I'm putting that aside. And for my other mixture, it's gonna be all about vanilla. Vanilla bean paste, four generous teaspoon of that gorgeous sticky paste, which obviously gonna bring some amazing flavor, but at the same time, you're gonna get all that lovely vanilla seed inside so when the marshmallow is set you're going to see them inside so whoever eat it you know you've been using the proper stuff so again just gently fold the paste into our marshmallow mixture now time to build our layers i'm going to start first of all with the green tea layers Push it down gently. So when you line your tray, try to get your silicone paper or baking paper right up, you know, a bit higher than the actual tray so you can really get some deep marshmallow. And now I'm just gonna top it up with the vanilla. Finally, before we let it set, another good dusting of our mixture of golden icing sugar and corn flour. That will stop our marshmallow to dry up. So that's now ready to go to set at room temperatures for at least 12 hours. So it's nice and set so we can peel it off and slice it up beautifully, ready to be eaten. So here we are, our marshmallows have been setting up just over 12 hours and I can't wait to taste them. So of course, now we have to be a bit careful the way we're gonna remove them. Lucky enough, I got one of those push bottom tin, gently peeling off the sides of my tray and the baking paper. Wrap. And I'm just gonna peel off another dusting of our corn flour mixture and using a surrogated knife I'm gonna slice some long strip. And you can see the two lovely colors 
of the two layers. And when it's time to serve them, using a pair of scissors, just slice off some little cube and to eat. And it's so fluffy. No guilt for that one. This is absolutely delicious. This is my green tea with vanilla bean paste marshmallows. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel.